had a lot of people do that to Gegard Musasi. How did it feel in the cage? Um, I felt comfortable. You know, I felt real comfortable. Um, all week I've been saying to my friends and family, um, I just feel super calm. Considering how big the moment was for me, I just felt super calm and relaxed. And, and when I went in there, I felt the same thing. I felt the exact same thing. I went in there and, yeah, I didn't even feel like I was fighting, you know? Uh, like, there was, no, there was no mad nerves. I just felt <laughs> totally comfortable. I could hear my corner talking. I could, I could see everything, you know, and yeah, I'm happy with that one. He barely tried to take you down. Did that surprise you? It did. It did, you know. Um, it did, but I don't know. That's 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 his fault, isn't it? Like, if he didn't want to attack the takedown, that's him, but yeah. yeah. So your left kick was landing pretty much, and when it went to the ground a couple of times, you were on top. Did yep. you expect that to happen? Yeah, of course. You know, um, I, I've been I've been working. You know, I've been working with my coach. Um, yeah, we've been working, man. We've been working, and, and no doubt I'll be I'll be back in the gym probably like a week or so. You know what I mean? And just back building, back building. So was there a scuffle with Johnny Eblen? We couldn't see it. We were in this uh, media uh, <laughs> thing. So was was there a scuffle? <laughs> what happened there? No, nah, it wasn't a scuffle. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of this and a bit of that, <laughs> and that was it. Um, Johnny knows that he's seeing me next, and and that's it. So. The push and the shoves is all is all nice, but we we'll get to see each other in the cage and we we'll get to lock lock horns and uh, yeah and exchange some punches. It's going to be in Dublin, Europe, this side of the ocean. Do you like that, Fabian? Yep, it sounds nice. Um, I wouldn't mind bringing him back to Birmingham though. So I know they say Dublin, but let's see if we can twist someone's arm and bring him back to Birmingham. <laughs> uh, right here, Fabian. Congratulations on a great performance. You looked very sharp tonight. Thank you. We even saw you uh, grapple a lot with Musasi and even take him down, take his back. Was that part of your game plan tonight? Yeah, the game plan was to go in there and, and just do me, you know, and I felt like I'd I done me. I, I could have threw a few more kicks, but I hurt my foot, you know what I mean? And every time I kicked him, I could feel it. And I didn't want to show it on my face. So, yeah, I could hear my corner, ki corner team shouting for it, but it is what it is, uh, you know. I, I learned from that and, yeah. One more. Uh, what was what was it like for you fighting in Paris? Like it wasn't very far from England, but at yeah. the same time there were a lot of Dutch fans in the arena. It's a very energetic arena. What was it like fighting in Paris for you? I loved it. You know the arena was packed out. Um, I got some booze. I got some chairs. You know what I mean. But regardless, at the end of the day, as long as the fans and everyone enjoy the fight, that, then I'm happy with that. You know what I mean? Because um, I think Bellator trying to come back to Paris. I don't know when, but if they do, then. They can definitely give me a shout for that show. Hey, Fabian. Um, three wins in a row now. Obviously, big wins against Machida and now Musasi. What does this recent stretch say about your growth as a fighter? It says a lot. Who can say, who in MMA can say they've got Machida and Musasi on their record? You know, um, and that's it. Like, I lost my two fights and everyone, <laughs> everyone like, ripped me off. You know what I mean? Everyone kind of said, oh, whatever. But I, I kept myself belief. Went back to the gym, carry on working, and now I'm back here. Free fight winning streak, one fight away from a world title. Yep. You're limping a little bit just now. Do you think your foot's hurt, or is it just a little, you know, bumps and bruises from the fight? We'll see. We'll see. You know, um, we'll see how long that lasts. Obviously, I was, I was, I was putting those kicks in, and a few caught his knees and caught his elbows. And, but it's the fight game. You know, my jaw is hurting, my fucking my body is hurting. But it's the fight game. I got a pocket full of cash, and I got a world title shot. Um, when they announced the September 23rd date for your title shot, is that something you agreed to before this fight, or is that kind of just, uh, you know, a, a news to you after this one? No, I knew. I knew what was on the line, you know what I mean? And when I went in the cage, I just looked around, and I was like, yeah, he's not taking that away from me, you know what I mean? And I just made sure I stayed locked in. And, yeah, I just, <laughs> I just flow. Like, I felt so calm in there. It's, it's a weird feeling because I didn't feel nervous. I didn't feel anxious. I just felt... Super calm, like I, like I am now talking to you guys, and that was a good feeling. Hi, Fabian. Um, you just said that you felt very calm in the cage. Um, I wanted to know how did you manage to stay calm with the first the ground strike and then the high poke and then the knee to the jaw? How did you manage to stay calm with all these stoppages? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a solid guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm a solid guy, so stuff like that is not going to 
made me fucking quit. You know what I mean? Um, it gave me a decent knee to the to the jaw while I was on the floor in like side control, and it kind of pushed my jaw back. And you know, I had to like just massage that back. And, and yeah, let's carry on. You know, the, I thought the ref could have took a point from him because if I need him to in the face, the referee would have done the, done the same thing. But it is what it is. You know. Um, yeah, you have to stay focused in the fight, and that's what I've done. Hey, Fabian, Pierre Piro for Nelson Semema, we talk at the Eiffel Tower about yeah. the fact that you was uh, um, your underdog for this fight. Yeah. Do you feel better in this position? I don't really, you know what, this underdog and overdog or whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. And I, I'm being honest, you know what I mean? Because I never write myself off. And I'm being honest, there's no fight that I go into that makes me think, actually, I can't win this fight. I don't care who that person is. I don't care what he's accomplished, you know. And, yeah, they can, they can, they can carry on writing me off of the underdog, but I do not care. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, hi Fabian from Cover. Congratulations on the, on the big win tonight. Um, with the scuffle of Johnny Eblen uh, after the fight, right, right here, right here, Fabian. Uh, straight. Oh, uh, sorry, brother. No, you're welcome. Uh, how, how do you see a fight against Johnny going? I see it going how I want it to go. You know, I think he's underestimating my wrestling and everything. And it is what it is. I, I got the heart. I got the grit. I, I showed I can go five rounds. And I felt good as well. You know, it, it wasn't like after the five rounds, I was getting scraped off the floor. As, you know, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? My <laughs> The gas tank's good. Um, I'm here, you know. I'm here, and I'm I'm ready for it. Uh, when uh, you when he hit the knee, the illegal knee, uh, how did how did you feel, and did you manage to recover in the two minutes that were that was given to you uh, perfectly? Yeah, I had to on it. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tr try to look for a way out. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be like, oh fuck it, out of my jaw. But I'm when it when it did knee me, it felt like it pushed my jaw back. You know, so I, that's why I was just trying to. You know, massage it out, and the referee was trying to put pressure on me. I'm like, you just need me to the face. Give me some time to, you know what I mean? So, but we're not, we're going to try to look for an easy way out, you know? And uh, you mentioned Birmingham, a uh, couple of questions earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think with a win in Dublin in September, you, you'll have leverage to ask for a fight in Birmingham for your first title defense? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, why not? You know, why not? Birmingham deserves that. Don't hello, oh, hello, Fabian, uh, Isabel from uh, Sports 75. Congratulations for your victory. Thank you. And uh, what question? Uh, um, what do you think of the organization of uh, Bellator? I like it. You know, I've been I've been with Bellator since 2018. Yeah, I think 2018 I signed. You know, so uh, yeah, I've been with, I've been with him a while. Um, you know, Mike Cogan, he's always support me even through my losses and stuff. And yeah, you know, he's a good man. Um, yeah, I like the promotion. How many uh, fights do you have with uh, with them? She, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last question, uh, um, Fabian. Uh, so, first of all, congratulations for your fight. Um, during uh, you, you fight m a lot of fighters like Leo Tomashida, veteran of UFC. Um, you fight now at Musashi, a veteran also in UFC. W what uh, is the next step for you for your career? Um, world title, you know, world title. Um, like I said, we come from a uh, everyone classed as a little gym in Birmingham, you know. But look what we're producing. We got one world champion. I'm one fight from from a world champion. Tim Wa put on a beautiful performance tonight, you know. Um. Yeah, I've mean, got a lot of guys in the gym that's really just believing. We just be just believe in ourselves and just keep grafting. But yeah, our, our world title is coming next, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to achieve that. Yeah. Just the last question, sorry, uh, Shams for Lepaku. Um, you um, y you train a lot with your brother, uh, Leon, because your stand up um, was uh, was uh, was better, was better than the other fights. I taught that man everything. <laughs> 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 nah, you know, obviously that's the Edward style in it. You know, we smooth, we smooth southpaws and we move him. <laughs> we smart fires, you know, we smart fires. He he just put on a clinical against one of the the greatest welterweights. They say, you know, he's just put on a clinical and 
have the point of clinical against a legend, as you guys say. And yeah, man, we just we just we're here. We're just working. We're working, and we're trying to achieve a lot. I know we have what to achieve, but we're trying to e- achieve a lot. We're really trying to go down as, as legends ourselves, you know. I just wanted to really quickly follow up on that. Um, as you said o- earlier, one more fight, one more win, and you you and your brother are both champs in, in major MMA promotions. What would that mean to you to to join your brother and to you know? Start this Edwards takeover, if you will, or, or continue it, really. Um, it mean the world, you know. Honestly, it, it would mean the world. Um, yeah, one fight away, and even after that one fight, there's a lot to gain afterwards, you know. Um, yeah, man, it, it ain't over till it's over, and I'm trying to achieve a lot of things, and Leon trying to do the same. And obviously, I know he's the world champion, but he's trying to be go down as one of the greats. You know, what I mean, he's already a great in England, um, but he's trying to go down as one of the the greats of all time and I, I believe he will do that and I'm on the way to doing the same thing. Danny? Fabian, oh. how much has uh, your brother's success motivated you in, in your career? Obviously seeing him, you know, become UFC champion and, you know, you're cut from the same DNA. So how much has that motivated you in, in these uh, recent years? Yeah, it motivated me a lot. You know, he has motivated me a lot. Um, like I say, when everyone say, uh, he was the guy you was watching before he came into MMA, it was Leon, you know what I mean? So I feel Leon showed everyone from uh, from Birmingham at least that you can do this full time. You know what I mean? You can make a good earning. You can you can make something of yourself. You can inspire people from it. So, yeah. I know your goal is obviously to become champion, but... Um, do you ever look further than that sort of a, as a collective goal to kind of make the Edwards brothers so, sort of the, the best brothers in MMA history? Because, I mean, you guys are already setting the platform for something big. Obviously, the Diaz brothers are out there, the Pettis brothers mm-hmm. as well. But um, it seems you guys are getting started as well. Yeah, of course. But no disrespect to all, all the brothers, but there's none of them that move like us. We're smooth, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're very smooth operators. And like I say... I'm one fight away. I look forward to collecting that. Yeah, and uh, that face off with Johnny Evelyn got a bit spicy there um, after your fight. Do you like that, or would you prefer more like respectful? What was sort of your reaction to the whole thing? I like you all. You know what I mean. We can get spicy, or we can keep it mild. I don't really mind. You know what I mean. It's all the same because when we get in the cage. I will be throwing hundred percent shots at him, and he he will be doing the same to me. So, all the talk and all that push and shove, it, it doesn't really it doesn't really mean much to me, you know. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.